Hello everyone. Today we will see how to upgrade the Grafana to the latest version. So we have been using the open source Grafana. So we will see how to upgrade uh, the uh, upgrade to the latest version in Ubuntu version. So first we will uh, go and check the status of uh, Grafana server whether it has been running or not. So uh, after checking the version, I mean I'm sorry, uh, after checking the status. So now the Grafana has been uh, not working, so we will uh, start the Grafana server first and see what is the version which we have used and then we will uh, see how to, so what is the version we have been using and then we will see how to um, upgrade it to the latest version. So we will uh, just start up the Grafana server, so let us uh, see the version so we will just go navigate to the navigation side so we will check the preference so here at the top you can see the version mode as well so right now it's in sound point form so now we will uh, uh, stop the version So now we will open Chrome again. So we will go to the official documentation and see what is the steps to upgrade Grafana. So since uh, Grafana we have been first before uh, taking up uh, upgrading, we will uh, take a backup of the DD. So since we are using the OSI solution and we have not changed anything inside that one, so the Grafana is uh, using a SQLite database. So even we can customize those things if needed. Now we will uh, take a backup of the Grafana DD to the desktop. So now we will see the version and the size of. Uh, now we will change the permission of the SQLite DB first. So it's the Grafana DB which we have taken backup. Now we will change the permission. Grafana DD. So we'll use the sudo command. Now the Grafana DD is being opened. So now we'll open it in the SQLite database viewer. So now you can see all the list of tables which have been uh, uh, available in the Grafana. So you can see all the database on authentication details over here. So all the database which you have created, the alerts. We will just go to the authentication and see I mean, the users and see what is the username. And so we cannot see the password over here. It's been sorted. So you can see uh, all the other details like the list uh, alerts which we have configured. So now we navigate back to the Grafana server. So now we will see the documentation of how to upgrade it in Ubuntu or in Linux package. So first we will use the first command to do the installation. Okay, after that we will get the latest version. We will be taking some time. So now we will upgrade it. So we will unpack the Debian file. So now it has been unpacked.
So we will wait for a couple of minutes for our unpacking. Now it's the services and getting restarted. So we'll go back and clear everything, and then we'll uh, restart the server again. So the service. Now we'll check the status. So it's been running correctly. So there's no issues in the upgrade. So now we'll go and see the latest version of Grafana. So now you can see the version has been get updated to the latest version 8.0.4. So now we'll go and see uh, the panels, how it looks. So we'll go and see the alert rules and notifications, the data sources. Okay, now we'll uh, click on an empty panel. So you will see the updated view, uh, the panel view over here. So you can see all the list of visualization uh, panels being available like the table, pie chart, heating map, histogram, and new things, like no graph. So there's no data has been available. So I think the data has been not, uh, earlier data is not strong or very much good. So it has changed the organization, so it's a confusion over here. So we'll change it back to the old one. So now here you can see the data we on the dashboard which we have created over here. We'll change it to another. Yeah, now you can see the previous dashboards which we have created and uh, We'll come back to the new one. So we'll do a search. Now we'll uh, try to update the plugins which we have installed previous since we have moved the upgrade. Uh, first we'll uh, try to update all the plugins. So some of the plugins we now are getting updated. So now we will now so now we'll go to the plugins directory and then we will see um, so we'll the permission so that we can see the plugins which we installed. So now we will uh, Update the plugins over here. Still, we are facing the same issue. So, we will exit from this one and then navigate to the root directory and we will restart the service. Back. 
so the image uh, rendering plugin has been not uh, installed properly and updated properly so we'll uh, first install that image rendering plugin so we'll copy the code Give us two of them both now. We wait for a couple of minutes for the update to happen. So we have to give the administrator to install the plugin. So we'll uh, try to add one more panel. So we will see what's going to happen. So we will see what are the uh, latest panels uh, being added. So we can time series. Yeah. Now it has been installed. So now we will restart the panel. So we check the status. Just refresh the image and set up the panel and do the share option. Now the image rendering medium has been working fine. So let's just wait for a minute. Yeah. So now we are able to get the image snap now. So we will check whether the PDF is also getting downloaded. This one is not okay. We will uh, look into the another plugin that's a flow chart. It's not available. So we'll just go to the source plugins. So it is, seems to be in an unsigned uh, plugin. So we'll go to that uh, plugin and see what it says needs to update it. So we just copy this one and uh, we go back to the terminal. So I think this this one has been updated properly. So we go back to the core again. First, before that, we'll uh, restart the service. We'll refresh the Gatana page and uh, we'll go to the flowchart plugin. It doesn't show. We'll just refresh this to uh, this. Uh, Login has been installed so it has been installed properly. So we we'll go and edit the panel and see whether we can edit the preview over here. So we we'll just uh, go to the source for this one. We will uh, enable it and code it. So now we have the image rendering plugin. And we'll just save this dashboard again since we have an update. So we'll just drop this the page. So we don't see the one. So we'll go and edit it again. And we'll just go to the description. 
you need something to go here. So I'm just and here you can be able to see the preview. You can see how it's going down. If here it's working backwards, we have to click again. Use the timings. Now, now you can see the dashboard. Yeah. Okay, so now we have updated the plugins as well as we have updated the Grafana to the latest version. So, thanks for watching. We will uh, catch up in your new post.